Today we're going to talk about the six-line RAS, how to care for it. If you'd like to know more, stay tuned. What's up YouTube? John here. Thank you for joining Blue Carbon Reefing and you guessed it, today we are going to do a spotlight on the 6-Line RAS. The 6-Line RAS is another beautiful addition to a reef aquarium. I have kept them for a number of years. So its scientific name is Pseudochylinus hexatania. Someone who speaks Latin is probably going to correct me there. How they got their name in the aquarium industry was the six distinct horizontal or electric blue lines that go over their body. They are native to the Indo-Pacific region in the coast of Fiji. The maximum size these fish will grow is typically about three inches. Uh, they are carnivores, so their main diet will consist of obviously mainly meaty foods, brine shrimp, mysa shrimp, clams bloodworms, those types of things are easiest to feed them in a reef aquarium. For the most part, they are a peaceful member of the reef community. Uh, they can become aggressive if they do not have uh, adequate places to hide, or of course that there are other similar or timid fish in its habitat. Again, I'm just giving you my experience of what I've seen typically keeping these fish over the years. Uh, every single fish can have its own personality. So even if something is labeled peaceful, uh, there are some aggressive ones out there. It's going to do very well in all of your typical parameters you would keep in a reef tank. Temperature 72 to 78 degrees, pH of 8.0 to 8.4, specific gravity of 1.020 to 1.026. Now mainly what I experience with this fish is uh, this one personally is a very timid fish. He likes to dart in and out of the rocks. He's actually very difficult to film because uh, he typically is a little shy for me. Um, mine particularly will eat pellets. He'll pretty much eat anything that I will feed. Even when I put out clips of algae it will eat it. Although I do try to make sure I feed uh, a decent amount of meaty foods to make sure it's obviously getting all the nutrition that it needs. As far as minimum tank size, I would recommend at least 30 gallons or larger. Um, obviously, I'm sure there's people out there that can keep them in a little bit smaller tanks. Overall, this is one of my favorite fish to put in a reef tank. Almost uh, a guarantee that I'm going to have this in every single one of my tanks that I keep. Um, really, the added bonus, I think, is it's a really good fish when it comes to uh, picking off some of those negatives off of your rock. If you ever get uh, flatworms or or bristle worms, this is a great fish to keep around in case those things happen. So that is it, short and sweet. I hope you learned a little something about the six line wrasse. Uh, this is one of my truly favorite fish in a reef tank. Uh, I hope you guys learned something. If you uh, have kept these fish before, go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know uh, what you think about them. And otherwise, we will catch you on the next one. Happy reefing! <laughs>